Hello, today I want to show how to change the oil of a push mower. The first thing I'm going to do is spread out this sheet of plastic. I do this just in case to protect the floor from oil stains. I also just ran the engine for about two minutes so that the dirt is floating in the oil and will be swept out with it. Now I am going to pull out the dipstick. This is here on the left side. And now it is time to rotate the mower on its side. Here you can see I'm rotating it on the left side. That's the side where the hole for the dipstick is. There is no drain plug on the bottom of this mower, so that's why I have to do it this way. Okay, so now I let this mower sit on its side for about 10 minutes. And that's to ensure that the majority of the oil has run out of the engine. Now I'm first going to take care of the old oil. And I have here this funnel and an old uh, oil bottle. And I'm carefully going to pour the old oil into this bottle. Making sure that uh, I don't spill it anywhere. So now on the side of this bottle there's a small scale which tells you how much oil you've taken out of the mower. And so I'm going to read this value and I'm going to pour the exact same amount of fresh oil back into the mower. Okay, so now I'm going to take here a clean funnel. And uh, here I have the uh, fresh oil. And as I said before, I'm going to pour in the exact same amount of oil that I took out. So here I'm going to read the scale, making sure I don't pour in too much. So now I'm going to let the oil settle for a little bit. And now I am going to take the dipstick and I am wiping it off with the paper towel. And then I stick the dipstick all the way into the bottom and I'm going to lock it in place. And then I'm going to take it out right away again. And now we can check if we have the right amount of oil in there. Let's have a quick look here. I'm not sure if you can see this in the video, but here you look for the uh, marked area and you can see it's the oil is right in the middle. So this is just perfect and I don't have to add any additional oil. In case you're still missing some oil, just pour in some more and uh, check again with the dipstick. And now at the end I'm going to start the engine really quick just to make sure that everything still works right. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to check out my other lawnmower repair videos.